finally, I am inside of my new home. I am in love. I am in love. It is so white, so bright, and it's just everything that I wanted. my weedies and welcome back to another video if you are new here i am mini wheat and if you are a returning subscriber you already know the vibes hello my weedies i hope you guys are doing well and welcome back to another vlog okay well not another vlog this is the first vlog since i'm back now you know right now i'm currently sitting outside of home depot because i need to go inside to grab me at least like two or three more boxes to pack a couple things i feel like i got majority of everything packed i just really only have left my clothes that are in my dresser and my kitchen stuff which i really feel like i'm only going to need like three more boxes literally and go on from that but i am super excited it is saturday september the freaking in seventh okay and i pick up my keys real real soon like i pick up my keys to my new place like in two days that's crazy you know i'm really about to move and i and i don't have nothing together like at all like i'm being very last minute with things when it comes to like booking a u-haul and, and stuff like that but oh i'm sorry yeah i'm being very last minute but i just can't believe like it came so fast like it came so quick like i applied for this place it got approved around in august yeah in august and now it's september a month later and i'm moving like i'm really yeah moving that's crazy it's exciting but it's crazy but i'm not gonna chat too much inside the car we about to go inside get some boxes i really just feel like i need like a large box and a medium box and probably a large two larges and one medium or should it be just one large one more large one medium because i really I think I just need one more large and then a medium. One more large and then two mediums and call it a day. I don't know, we'll see when we get inside. you guys i am back and as you can see it's nighttime so clearly i didn't get back on camera as soon as i got here i had other things going on a lot of things transpired i'm looking a little crazy right now but hey it is what it is let's get into this home because as y'all can see a lot of things just going on here we just we just in a mix of a lot i got boxes still open that needs to be closed my main goal today was to pack my clothes which we were about to get into now but i also wanted to get this rug up and split the couch but since it's like over time now i'm probably not going to do that i know tomorrow which is sunday i'm going to have to like literally tackle everything well i have monday all, all day monday to tackle everything but like sunday i really want to get it like done like no cooking no nothing going on just have everything set up the way i need to set up so i can have a easy smooth process why do my camera doing this yellow thing i don't know why this yellow thing going on but like i was saying uh i just want to have an easy smooth process you know when this start when it bought more boxes so i need to really get to it i need to really finish packing up like the plate and stuff but i'm gonna do that tomorrow mainly tonight i'm just probably going to get the clothes out the way i was supposed to bend start packing my clothes up days ago i don't know why i'm just now getting to it now and i'm really just being lazy to be honest really really just being lazy but i'm just gonna start off with like my pajamas and stuff honestly i don't feel like going through them because i feel like now isn't the time to really go through them to see like what i want to keep and what i don't want to keep because i feel like half of the stuff i'm gonna end up giving to like my niece or whatever you know little stuff that i don't be wanting to keep and the other stuff that i do want to keep i keep it for myself i was supposed to be starting this vlog up on freaking friday y'all because this is supposed to be kind of like a weekend vlog it still is a weekend vlog because you know you know it's still giving a weekend because it's a saturday night but i was supposed to start friday but friday mommy love birthday was friday if uh y'all didn't know y'all don't follow me on instagram my mother's birthday just passed and it really feels so freaking weird like it feels so freaking weird to just be living and just going on with life and stuff like that without her being here it's just so strange you know but uh we got through it well not got through it we still getting through it or whatever but like this is the very first birthday i'm not gonna say that i have that i haven't spent with her 
because like I've missed like a couple birthdays due to me being so far away living in Texas during the time but like last year was like I think the first time in a long time I was able to actually be down on her actual birthday and last year all I can think about is like last year we had a good time like the memories on my phone popped up of the time like last year we went to Longhorns because she loves some freaking Longhorns y'all I don't know what's her obsession with Longhorns but she Longhorns down okay this to be her first birthday to come across she's not here it's it's just insane, crazy to say, but you know, it's life. I know y'all probably wonder why I'm just throwing these clothes in here, but to be honest, y'all, like, I don't have, like, no form, form going on. I'm just really putting things in here. Majority of this stuff, I forgot that I even had, to be honest. Like, what? It's just a regular black <laughs> shirt that I had that I just, yeah, but these are all, like, sleep clothes. I'm literally about to sit here for the rest of the night. Pack these clothes. Nothing much else. Good morning, you guys. I just woke up, and yes, I still do have the same clothes on. Don't judge me. We all do it, okay? I am tired this morning, but I went on ahead and got out the bed, brushed my teeth, you know, rinsed my face off or whatever, because we have some stuff that we need to do. Like, a lot of this, like I like I said, I got knocked off track because I was supposed to start this vlog on Friday, and I never did start on Friday. I had, like, my days set, but, you know, things transpired, and that's fine. But, um, yeah, it's Sunday, and I need things to be moved around and rearranged in my home. Like, I need to break apart the couch and set the couch a certain way. I need to take the uh, pictures down, get this lamp from over here. Last night, I did a whole lot. That's why I ended up going to sleep with the same clothes on. But I did a whole lot last night, which is like moving all my boxes into the kitchen area because I want this to be a smooth move, y'all. I want to be able to just get everything out of here smoothly. So I'm blocking off like this kitchen area on this side just so we can have this walkway clear. This side of the walkway clear clear where the door is. I don't even know if y'all can see. Hello. I'm blocking out my kitchen portion, right? I know y'all see that over there. So I can have this way clear. It's not clear right now, but you know, it's gonna be clear. So I can have this way clear so I can, when we move things, everything will be moved just straight on out throughout the door. So we won't have to, you know, be everywhere and everything won't be cluttered or whatever. So all of this is gonna be cleared because I'm gonna push everything over here on, on this side where the kitchen stuff is. So y'all get it? I hope y'all get it, but yeah, that's the plan. So I just went ahead and got up this morning. I was like, you know what? Before I take a shower and change and put on my clothes for the day, let me go ahead and move this stuff because you know dust and stuff gonna be getting on me and then when dust get on me and stuff I'll be wanting to take another bath so it's best to just go ahead and complete this now and then take my shower and put on my clothes today yeah you guys that's the plan I'm excited I'm excited I'm excited because wow like I officially pick up my keys tomorrow I pick up my keys tomorrow I get my things moved in on Tuesday and Wednesday so this is exciting crazy but it's exciting but um hopefully I can get some good good rest tonight because Tomorrow, I don't want to be moving anything at all. Sorry, I was looking outside my door, but tomorrow, I don't want to be moving nothing at all. Like, I don't want to be rearranging things. Tomorrow, I just want to get up, go to pick up my keys, you know, do my little content at my new space that I need to do and stuff like that. Deep clean that space and then, yeah, get everything moved. so tired like when I say I'm tired I'm tired I'm ready to get in the shower I feel so dirty and yucky but I'm definitely getting things done I just packed my last box of clothes so I have three box of clothes in total and I'm about to sit up sit it up here to kind of get it out of the way so everything could just be like over here and out the way so when it's time to move everything will be situated okay but this box is so heavy I'm trying to get it to put it on top of here but it's so heavy like being independent is not fun when you're doing things like this. I'll tell you that now, but ugh, there we go. Finally, finally, finally. I got three boxes full, like literally full of freaking clothing. I'm tired for real. Sentence, he about to crash out. That means it's about 
to go down in the worst possible way ever. And as I began to think about all the people in this church, it made me think of the Rock City definition of crashing out. My definition of crashing out is whenever you do the opposite of God's will for your life. Amen. If God told you to pray and you just start busting moves, you're crashing out. If God told you to stand still, yet you're still moving, you're crashing out. If you acting a fool when he said, be still and let me fight your battle, you're crashing out. Amen. And I'm going to say this, only three of y'all going to catch it. Some of y'all latest crash outs are hindering your future come ups. Ooh. Preach Mike McClure. Some of your latest crash outs are hindering your future come ups. And just because something happens that I cannot control does not mean that I should lose self-control. Self amen. Oh, put that in the amen, comments. Put amen, that in the amen, amen, amen. Just because something happens that I cannot control does not give me the right to lose my self-control. Pastor Mike, but you don't know what they did to me. You're right. I don't know what they did to you, but you are still in control of how you respond. Amen. Oh, this may be worth writing, young people, because whoever angers you controls you. Ooh. Ooh. I'm preaching whether you receive it or not. Whoever angers you controls you. The prison is filled with people who are good people. They just crashed out. Oh, Proverbs 14, 29. Slowness to anger makes for deep understanding. A quick-tempered person stockpiles stupidity. Ooh. And many of us right now are struggling emotionally because we crashed out. God told you you were in the season where you weren't supposed to be dead, but you didn't like being lonely. So you bust a move outside of his will. So now here it is, your heart broke, you're bankrupt, ain't got no peace because you crashed out relationally. Uh, oh, that was Some of you spending money that you weren't even supposed to spend. Here it is, you wanted something for yourself. And instead of waiting on God to come through, you start busting moves that didn't make sense. Amen. So now you're having to beg for what you need because you spent it on what you wanted. Mm, mm. And what happens is we have stockpile stupidity. Mm. You're giving a primary emotion by default. Your secondary emotion is what you develop. So if you betray me, I feel anger. That's primary, that is natural. The Bible says anger, but sin not. In our text today, we see a sister who's about to crash out and ain't nobody did nothing to her. Today is an exciting freaking day. I can't believe today is here. Like yesterday just happened and now we into today. And today is exciting day. <laughs> I go to pick up them keys. I go to pick up them keys. I go to pick up them keys, man. Oh my goodness. I am up this morning to get myself together because I'm going to go pick up them keys, okay? I have a lot to do, not today, but like between tomorrow and Wednesday. I'm gonna have a lot of things going on, you know what I'm saying? Oh my gosh, I just can't believe this day came so fast. I, it's just, I don't know. It just feel like the day just be moving by really fast. Like we are here now. Like I about to go pick up my keys to my new space what <laughs> i'm currently getting myself together because i'm about to make myself look like a little some some because you know i got some content to create today you know creating content with y'all but also creating content for my ig reels and just getting that together so i just want i want to look you know you know i'm already cute but i want to look you know a, a little more cute you know want to look like some some it's 9 a.m I'm up super early and I'm be heading over there to that side of town super early because well, I didn't have a set time to go and pick up my keys, but you know, hey, I'm pretty sure I could pick them up anytime because you know, today is my day or whatever, you know? I'm excited though. My plans today is just to deep clean. Well, I don't necessarily have to deep clean it to be honest, but I'm going to do some deep cleaning. Well, not a deep, deep clean, just a wipe down and stuff like that. Kind of envision how I want everything to be in that home and where I want to put these boxes and stuff when I do start moving stuff in because I'm not moving stuff into 
the place until tomorrow. I would have did it today, but I really just don't feel like it. Unless, you know, my friends just get up and just be like, hey, let's get it done today. And I'm like, well, okay, y'all want to do it? Let's do it, you know? If y'all want to do it, let's do it. Let's 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 get the whole shebang done. <laughs> but uh, I haven't called her to ask her or anything like that yet. I'm just going to really just, you know, get this done and see. This may be a good idea because they said they don't have nothing to do today. But I know tomorrow they do. I don't know. Maybe maybe it would have been a good idea to get everything done today. Hmm. I don't know. <laughs> I just don't want to feel like rushed with everything so I might chill. But y'all, if I'm repeating myself a whole lot in this video or like I'm talking in circles, please don't mind it, y'all. I have a lot of things that's transpired that transpired within this week. So please bear with me if Minnie Wheat is on here repeating herself. I'm going through the motion because I know my God is good and you know, I know why he let a lot of things transpire this week. I I I know that. I know that for sure, you know? <laughs> and I know throughout all of this, I'm gonna be in a better space. I'm gonna be in a better space. I'm gonna be doing well for myself. And he's gonna be right along with me because he right along with me now through this journey. And I know what I prayed for and he's he's giving it to me right now for sure. <laughs> he's giving it all to me right now. And hey, I can't blame God for that. God just doing what I asked him, you know? And I'm gonna thank him and praise him for that, okay? So like I said, bear with me because a lot be going on. But anyways, I'm gonna come back and talk to y'all because I'm gonna switch over here on my reel so I could, you know, chat it up with them and then come back to y'all when I'm ready and actually ready to, well, not, yeah. Y'all know what I'm saying. Girl, let me cut y'all off. I don't think I showed y'all yesterday, but my house, as y'all can see, is basically put how it needs to be put. I got the couch over here set up like this. I moved all those freaking boxes and stuff over here in the kitchen way. This way is clear. I just have to put these bar stools back on the island. Me and Quee was eating right here yesterday, so I didn't move nothing. This is the wagon that I'm taking with me on today um, to the place. This is like all my little cleaning stuff, so I want to go ahead and take that with me over there to the new space so I could go ahead and clean up and, you know, do stuff like that. So we about to head out. It's still pretty early. I might stop and get me some breakfast before actually like going to my new place, but other than than that let's go <laughs> i'm not even gonna lie today has been one of the most hard working days well, i'm not gonna say hard working productive day draining day tiring day of my life as y'all can see my background is empty right right we left off on me getting dressed going to pick up my keys first of all let me get into that i went all the way over there for no reason because guess what i didn't even need to pick up any keys there was no keys for me to pick up, like, at all. Like, my mailbox key and stuff was inside of my home already. And how I accessed my home, I didn't need to go to, like, the leasing office and sign documents and do stuff like that. That's how originally you supposed to do it. Like, go to the leasing office, get your keys and stuff like that. But I didn't have to do that this time. So, I wasted a whole 45-minute drive going over there this morning. I was supposed to film content because that was the purpose, you know. Go in, see what my space looking like because y'all... I have not seen, well, I haven't seen, okay, early I did it, no, before my moving day, I haven't seen my unit, my like unit that I chose. When I got over there and I realized that, I was like, dang, I wish I would have known this. I would never drove over there. I would have stayed here. But boom, I came up with the brightest idea. One of my friends was helping me move. He was back in town this week. So he was back in town this week from work and, was, and whatsoever. He was like, the only day that he had free to like help me is today. So so I was like, okay, cool. Let me see if Queen can able to help because they always like help me when it comes to moving and stuff like that. And I was like, let me see if Queen can free to help me move today instead of we moving tomorrow. Cause originally we were supposed to move all of these things out on Tuesday. But since my homeboy was available today, I was like, let me call up Queen Ken and let's, you know, use this extra help that we got. Cause you know, me, Queen Ken, not gonna be able to get all this stuff on our own, right? <laughs> so boom, we arranged that. Mind you, I still haven't booked no reservations because originally in my head I wanted to move everything Tuesday but everybody had different stuff to do Tuesday or whatever and like really like I said my homeboy wasn't available at first but he ended up calling me he was like hey this day I'm available right now and I was like okay cool but anyway it's past that because I keep repeating myself I'm re again y'all if I repeat myself I'm not stressed so when I got them on schedule I had to call here at my current place which is my old place I had to call them to reserve the elevator 
here so I could be able to move things out of here to the loader dock. It was only one, no, two times left available, so I, I either chose one to three or three to five to move everything. I ended up choosing one to three, so my homeboy went to go get the U-Haul truck and he brought it here, and Queen and Ken made their way over here, and I made my way back from where I was living to over here. That was a pretty little drive, a pretty far drive, a pretty far drive, but I made my way back over here, got to packing up the truck. We did not get done packing up the truck until five, no, uh, at least like 4.30 p.m. over here. We like, we really got done right at the peak of traffic time. When you have traffic in Atlanta, I'm telling you, you go be in traffic for like an hour or an hour and 20 or something like that. It just depends, you know, where you're going. But I don't know. I feel like Atlanta traffic always at least at lasts either 45 minutes to an hour. I'm sorry. So we was in the peak of traffic time. Obviously, it took us a whole hour to get there. In traffic, we was in like 30 minutes worth of traffic the whole entire ride. Like the first 30, no, we was like 45 minutes worth of traffic. I'm not even gonna cap y'all. Like Atlanta traffic is so bad, like I cannot stand it. Luckily, I don't go to where to go too many places too often because oh my god, I cannot bear with that. I can't deal with that. You know, Atlanta traffic just makes me like just don't want to leave the house. <laughs> but anyways, that ended up happening. We went to the new place and I finally was able to see my new place, but I still didn't pull my camera out because I'm still on crunch time because I have to return this U-Haul back at a certain time so I don't get extra charges. So I'm like, oh my gosh. So we could, I still couldn't grab my camera to like give y'all a little peek or just show y'all anything. But best believe I'm going to show y'all some things tomorrow, okay? I promise, I promise, I promise. I'm going to show you guys some things tomorrow. With, you know, not some things, but just like a sneak peek, you know? not too much you know but literally got done with everything and I still ended up well not I my homeboy because he got the truck for me but I still had to go and pick him up and take him back home but we still returned the truck at least like an hour later than the time that you know we had planned to return the truck so I still ended up having to pay a fee but uh, we got everything done and I am so so grateful for my friends I swear all three of them I am so grateful for them thank y'all for helping me move because if I did not have y'all I promise y'all wouldn't even know how I would be getting these things out of here I just don't know but I I appreciate you guys so much. So if y'all watching this video, just know many we love y'all. Thank y'all so much for what y'all have done for me today because y'all got it done, okay? So I'm back in my old place. It's currently, it's currently 11.57 p.m., right? 11.57 p.m. And I'm just getting back here. And y'all, I am about to lay it down. Like I'm not gonna do nothing but lay my butt down. Like I don't want to be up right now. I'm tired. My legs feel like noodles. Like I am tired, y'all. I am so freaking tired i just want to get some sleep and i kind of hate that i didn't like vlog as much as i want to y'all because like this is my first like real vlog back and i feel like i'm not showing y'all much you know but it's also i got so much going on and like stuff just keep going on back to back to back and i'm just like oh my gosh you know but you know i thank god first i thank god first for letting this stuff go smoothly you know even though it was time consuming i just thank god for everything he has done for me okay because first of all i am truly blessed I will say that I am truly blessed, okay? And I just want to praise God for everything he have done for me, okay? On top of that, I only got like little stuff left in here, like my closet, still have my clothes hung up. I'm gonna put that inside my car. I'm gonna have to do at least two trips. So like, I'm gonna have to do one trip tomorrow and then the other trip, I'm gonna come back the next day and come and get my clothes. So I'm gonna leave my clothes in here until the day I plan to actually move. No, the day I plan to return my keys, that's the day I'm gonna get my clothes out of here. So I'm gonna just leave that in the closet until further notice. But far as everything else, I'm gonna go ahead and grab and put in the car. I don't have nothing but like three little small totes with my like imported paperwork in. The only things that I have left here is pictures the pictures that was hung up on this wall and the pictures that was hung up in the living room and i also have some little small totes like they very small in my toolbox the toolbox i had packed because i still have to get the shower head off that's over here so i definitely got to do that i need to get that shower head off asap and i just got these pillows right here 
and yeah pictures pillow shower cap or whatever so my plan in the morning is to get up and deep clean this home so when i do come back to pick up my last little bit which is my clothes that's in my closet i don't have to deep clean i could just you know grab my clothes put them in a the car take my keys and return them okay because i don't feel like doing nothing else that's gonna be it i was gonna try to pull these nails off the wall but to be honest y'all i'm like forget it i don't feel like it i mean if i if i'm up to it tomorrow i might but honestly i'm just like forget it i'm just ready to get everything done and complete it and get my tail on out of here and what else that's it nothing else going on but yeah i'm just so tired i really am i'm gonna get everything done and complete it tomorrow and i'm gonna be happy when everything is done and completed i promise y'all because like whew I Meaning we is definitely tired. I tell y'all that. I am really tired. And I'll be happy when all of this done. Well, I don't have to do no back and forth. But anyways, good night. Good night. I just need to give y'all a rundown, a little update. I still didn't even finish the TikTok that I was supposed to create. I didn't even finish it. It's okay. I'ma still tweak some. I'ma still make some out of it. But you know. Anyways, I'm about to go to bed. Okay? I'm done rambling. I'm done talking. Let's talk to y'all tomorrow. <laughs> Finally, I am inside of my new home Woo! you gotta do that because my energy y'all i have been drained that's all i'm gonna say i have been drained my energy just been very up and down like with moving everything back where i left off last night y'all y'all already know i moved everything inside of my crib already and i'm not even gonna lie this is my first time like actually coming in here analyzing it uh like really getting a real feel of my new home and when i tell y'all i am in love i I am in love it is so white so bright and it's just everything that I wanted and I am so happy and so grateful I am the first person to get to be in this unit specifically specifically <laughs> and I don't know I'm just so freaking happy so excited y'all just don't understand like I'm really loving it like I'm loving it I'm loving it. I'm loving it I'm loving it I'm loving it I'm happy to be here I won't be spending the night here again tonight I'm actually going to go back to my old place again and spend the night because I have the kitchen to sweep up and I have the bathroom to clean but I did grab majority of my items the last thing that I need to grab is the stuff that is inside my closet which are my clothes that are hanging up and my laundry basket which my laundry basket have clean clothes in it because I already cleaned them I just gotta you know bring them over here okay tomorrow is my last day inside of my old crib so I'm actually super excited for that so I won't have to keep coming back and forth because the drive during traffic time is just not a joke and see today I had planned on beating in traffic time but I couldn't beat it because I was too busy cleaning so yeah that's how that went but anyways I'm about to get ready to home defense my new home because if y'all don't know about this already if y'all don't know about this y'all need to know about this but um you always want to home defense your new home to just keep like spiders and bugs out it doesn't matter like where you are or you know it's not going to do anything to your home it's just going to keep the bugs way away and the bugs out and me personally I don't like seeing little bugs so so I'm definitely going to home defense my home and it lasts up to like a year before I will have to like redo it again. So because I'm just happy to be here, y'all. I'm getting ready to actually do a prayer over my home. This will be my first time like actually praying over this like a home that I have lived in, which is going to be a little bit different for me. And uh, I'm about to get ready to actually do that because, you know, I wouldn't be here if it wasn't for the man above first. And if it wasn't for you guys, I wouldn't be able to get none of this stuff. Very, very thankful for you. Very very thankful for the man above okay because he made it happen and all i did was be obedient and listen to him and he made it happen for me and now look at me inside of my new crib bright white and yeah oh my god i just can't wait till y'all see like me in here like with the sun up and stuff like that i'm to my content is about to eat down so bad y'all just don't understand content is about to eat Bad. so bad i can't wait to like fully show y'all the place like no get me wrong i'm not doing a home tour i'm not gonna do a home tour but you know of course you're gonna see the space throughout like different vlogs and stuff like that i just can't wait i can't wait i can't wait i can't wait i can't wait i'm probably give y'all a sneak peek of the bathroom or one of the bathrooms we'll give y'all a sneak peek of what one of the bathrooms look like yeah actually i'm about to do that right now give y'all a little sneak peek because this Hold that thought. <laughs> I'm currently inside of one of the bathrooms. And guess what I got? Just guess what I got? Just guess what I got? Guess what I got? Guess what? Y'all already see it. 
Your girl Bitty Wee finally got herself a bathtub, okay? Finally got a bathtub. <laughs> y'all already know, y'all already know, y'all already know how I was feeling about not having a bathtub. I haven't been soaking in the tub for the past year and I am so excited to be able to soak inside a tub. This is not my main bathroom, I have two bathrooms. My main bathroom have a shower, but this one has a tub and I promise y'all, my first night in here, I'm definitely soaking in that tub, okay? I'm making me a good old bubble bath because Cause what? I've been waiting on this. I've been waiting, I've been waiting, I've been waiting on this, okay? But this is me inside of one of the bathrooms. First of all, the light look good. The mirror is super big. As y'all see the black, white detail. Y'all see it, y'all see it, y'all see it. I can't wait to do some good shit. <laughs> I can't wait, y'all. I can't wait. I'm, I'm I like, y'all don't understand. I'm happy. I got the place I want it. Ooh, why y'all didn't tell me I had little boogie woogies in my eye? I know that kind of look crazy. I look thrown away right now. I really do, but I'll get myself together when, when I'm officially in here. But oh my gosh, I'm finally in my new space. Can't wait to give y'all more and more, 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 more content. <laughs> this is really the freaking end my last night inside of my old home that's crazy i just i can't even believe it like no more mini wheat inside this home my first place by myself that i ever lived in like by myself and i'm about to really really move out of here like literally turning the keys in tomorrow that is so freaking crazy to me like it's just i just feel like everything just happened so freaking fast like like what like wow this is this is it's crazy it's crazy it's crazy but so long to this place welcome to my new place first of all let me just show y'all empty 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 my little palette in here <laughs> but you know, not much. Kitchen, empty wagon is ready for me to pull out in the morning. And yeah, empty unit, like sink, cabinets, nothing. This cabinet, nothing. Everything just empty. All I'm gonna say is so long to this apartment and may the new journey in my new apartment begin. I've been through some rough times and some good times inside this place. This place was definitely a blessing. This place definitely molded me into who I am today and made the new journey begin. So long, 346. <laughs>